it's more than level five. I don't know if they got a level six or seven, eight, but man, this is this is definitely gonna be a good job, man, to do, but in other words, we got it, man. We've already found almost a full box full. You can see it's got a little trail that's going all the way up. And so there's probably a bunch over here. I see more epipens over here. This is probably the biggest hoard that I've been on, but we gonna keep making it fun. Oh, he alive! The yes! Do you ever wonder what happens when the police leave? Crime scene cleaners are private companies that handle the cleanup after the police are gone. Spalding Decon is one of the nation's largest cleanup companies handling the aftermath of homicides, suicides, decompositions, hoarding, and much more. These are our stories. Hey, how you doing uh, guys? We're here at a level five horde out here in Wesley Chapel. It's kind of on the big side, um, but as usual, we're gonna get it done. Got us some, some fresh new faces who are ready to work. It's, like I said, it's gonna be a little bit tricky, a little bit difficult, but we got a couple of days to work with. Everybody seems eager, enthusiastic. We're gonna jump into it. We're gonna have a good time. We're gonna have some fun. We're gonna get this job knocked out on the way. Let's go in, have a good day. Thank you all for watching. Let's go do it. There's a sliding door back there, right? Yeah, I just want to see if I can get, if you can get through there. I don't yeah. Know. We've already found almost a full box full. You can see it's got a little trail that's going all the way up. And so there's probably a bunch over here. I see more epipens over here. No. any of the syringes that are out of boxes means that it has been used and we are not putting back in the box we're putting in a separate box that when we get back to the warehouse is going to go in the sharps container. trash I get but we got to go through all the medicine the mail all the electronics obviously we got to keep and stuff like that that we need to find clothes it's a process right now like I said this is probably the biggest hoard that I've been on and this one here it ain't fun but we gonna keep making it fun Crazy. Crazy. 
Lots of interesting stuff in here. Uh, a lot of stuff in here. <laughs> like, I don't think I've been in one this bad yet. This is the worst one I've been in. I mean, I've been in ones that smell worse, but it's not near as trash as this. Have you ever wanted to become a crime scene cleaner like me? Well, now you can. Spalding Decon has put together a variety of courses that can teach you everything you need to know about becoming a crime scene cleaner. We'll explain everything on how to get crime scene cleaning jobs, how to clean up biohazard and hordes. Click the link in our bio and use promo code CHITTY for 10% off. And CHITTY is spelled C-H-I-T-T-Y. Thanks. I'm making a little bit of a path now. Got some space. Walking over stuff, getting stuff done. It don't look like we're doing a whole lot much, but hey, we doing. This is some dips being knocked in this stuff, man. Honestly, man, this is my first one like this. And man, I've only seen this type of stuff on TV, man, honestly. I ain't think people actually live like this until you come in here and you see what's going on. And I mean, I can't allow myself to do it, but this is definitely disgusting. This is a big job. This ain't nothing that ain't we ain't used to, but oh man, we gonna have some fun with it though. Obviously, everybody in here having some fun with it, so we just gonna keep having fun, getting rid of the stuff that needs to get rid of, and we gonna keep rocking out. more than level five i don't know if they got a level six or seven eight but man this is this is definitely gonna be a good job man to do but in other words we got it man First day with our level five forward, and uh, we didn't get as much as we were thinking we were gonna get done. Only because it is a lot worse than we thought it was gonna be. There's a lot of stuff buried, a lot of big stuff. We found more Walmart bags than we can think of, and must have to do with the client used to live or Walmart. And. Uh, they managed to get the kitchen pretty much cleared out. Just gotta worry about this main front area, which is the living room, dining room, and then the bathroom and the laundry room, which hopefully tomorrow we're gonna be having a lot more help. So we should get it done a lot faster. Just for today, about to wrap it up. Just doing some final touches on the kitchen, making sure that's all good. Then we're gonna be putting all these bags that we've got up close 
in there, make it easier for the client to go through them and figure out what they want to keep if they just want to toss it. But uh, as for today, that's about it. Chair is right there in front of the door. Hey. Oh, he alive? The turtle? Yes. Oh, what? Shit. Yes, I swear to God. Still alive. Just a little guy. Oh, it's gorgeous. Yeah, we saving a little what? buddy. Huh? Saving turtles in this thing, man. Hey. Don't tell her what you're gonna find in the house. about today because we're definitely making progress over here we're going to try to get this as much as we can before we start to move over here because a lot of this is empty boxes just empty bottles and all that stuff and of course we got to make sure we get the needles taken care of
Bye, buddy. Enjoy your new life. Go ahead. She wants hair supplies, medications, mail, and anything that's salvageable to be saved. So let's just go ahead and finish, rock the day out, and get it done. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and ring that bell to be notified of the next episode. For more information, visit any of our locations.